In this demo, we are going to install and configure the Azure AD Connect. You can download Azure AD Connect by searching it on Google or from the Azure portal when you are creating a custom domain. This is needed when you want a hybrid identity and access management system and you want to synchronize your on-premises user with Azure AD. Before we start with installation, I'll take you to my Azure portal. Here, you can see that I've already created a custom domain with the name of Kurari, which is verified and is a primary domain, and I don't have any users. So now we'll come back to our on-premises Active Directory Domain Services system and start with installation and configuration of Azure AD Connect. So I have downloaded Azure AD Connect on my Windows Server 2012 R2 system and this is the basic minimum requirement you need to have as an operating system. We are going to open the folder where I have downloaded Azure AD Connect. But before I install, I want to show you my Active Directory users and groups. This system has Active Directory domain services installed and you can see my domain name kurari.com and if I go to users, you will see that I have three different users here, Neeraj, Raghav and Ritu. These are the users that I created. Other than that, I have built in user accounts. So these users are the users which will be synchronized with the Azure AD using the Azure AD Connect tool. So I'll click on minimize and there I'll double click to start the installation of Azure AD Connect. So the wizard has started. I'll have to agree to the terms and condition and I will be asked whether I want to choose the customized installation or the express setting. I'll show you both, but I'll start with the express settings. If you see here, it automatically takes up the Active Directory Forest of Kurari, configure synchronization of identification in the current AD of the forest. And it also says that by default, when you are using the express setting, it will use the password hash synchronization from on-premises AD to Azure AD. So what is password hash synchronization? It will not synchronize the password in the plain text. Rather, it will synchronize the hash of the hash of the password. And I really apologize because the, the resolution of the monitor is not correct and you're not able to see the buttons down there. And the first thing it asks is the global administrator credentials. So I'll have to give the credential of the global administrator for the Azure AD Connect to check the account and verify and validate before it establishes the connection with the on-premises AD for the synchronization. I've given the username and the password and I'll click on next. It will connect to the Azure portal confirm and once confirmed it will ask me for the on-premises domain administrative account so i will give the administrator username and password so in my case it is kurari slash administrator and then i'll provide the password i'll click on next again and once verified it is ready and i see here that it is ready to synchronize the account so if you see at the end it says start the synchronization process when the configuration completes and that is all to the express configuration and instead of starting the synchronization i will go back and do the custom configuration this is the first screen of the customized installation where it will ask you for the location of the installation and if you already have the existing sql server installed but since this is a fresh installation, I'll just avoid all those and go with the defaults. I'll click on next. And what it will do is try to install and configure the required components for Azure AD. In the next screen that appears, it asks for selecting the sign on methods. So there are different methods. One of them is the password hash synchronization, which we have already discussed. Then we have the pass through authentication. It is slightly similar to the password hash synchronization in the sense that the users can have their single identity to log in. But in this case, the authentication of the users happens on premises. The next one is the federation with ADFS. 
in this case the users are able to sign into the microsoft cloud services and other office 365 using the same password as they have their own premises but the difference is that they are redirected to the own premises active directory federation server instance for the sign in and authentication then we have the federation with ping federate it is as similar as the federation with adfs but in this case the users are redirected to their on premises ping federate instance for the sign in authentication then we have the do not configure option where no user sign in feature is installed and configured and you choose this option if you already have a third party federation server additionally there is an option for the enable single sign on this option actually is available with both password hash synchronization and pass through authentication and it provides a single sign on experience for the desktop users on the corporate network so we'll stay with the password hash synchronization for the sign on method and we'll click on next where we need to provide the global administrative account credentials in a similar way that we did during our express setup so once we have done that we will click on next it will verify and validate the account details and once validated we will be redirected to the next screen where we need to enter the connection information for our own premises directories so it is an active directory and the forest name is kurari.com that is a single forest single domain and we'll choose kurari.com and then we will click on add directory here we have to choose the existing active directory account or create a new account that has enough privileges to perform the periodic synchronization i can use an existing account but that will give me an error and it is because as of build 1.4.18 of the azure ad connect it is no longer supported to use the enterprise admin or a domain admin account as the active directory domain services connector account and if we try to enter an account that is an enterprise admin or a domain admin when specifying use existing account we will receive an error so what we need to do is go back to add directory and choose to create a new admin account and then we can give the enterprise account or the admin account details and that will be created by the azure ad connect and will be used for periodic synchronization of the ids so today you have 10 accounts and that was already synced up next time there may be additional users joining the organization and those users will be synchronized as a part of the delta synchronization we will click on next and once we click on next what it will do is it will try to retrieve the directory schema for kurari.com the active directory that we have on premises once that has been done we will be presented with the screen that you see now where it says that we need to have a matching azure active directory domain so it means that you need to have kurari.com as a custom domain created on azure active directory i have already created a short video on how to add custom domain name in azure ad and i have provided the link in the description you can go ahead and watch that short video it also gives us an option to select the on premises attribute of the active directory to be used as an azure ad username so we have different options here for our domain which is verified already and if we click on the drop down i have different attributes provided to us so what we will do is we will stick to user principal name and then we will click on next here i have the domain and ou filtering i can do different kinds of filtering so i have my directory as kurari.com and the first option that you see here it says sync all the domains and organizational units i can sync selected domains and organizational units so in a forest there can be multiple domains and i have the option to filter between them or synchronize everything since i have a single domain i have chosen the first option we then get an option to choose how we want to uniquely identify our users so we can have one single user present in different domains or different directories but in our case we have just one directory so we will leave the option as is users are represented only once across all directories and for 
select how user should be identified with Azure AD, we have the option to let Azure manage the source anchor or choose a specific attribute. We can click on the drop down and select a particular attribute. So we will stick to the first option, which is let Azure choose how to uniquely identify the users in Azure AD. Once that is done, we will click on next. On the screen that you see now, you have the option to select certain users or you can synchronize all the users. See, this is relevant in the cases where you want to have certain pilot users at first and then you want to onboard other resources or other users. But in our case, we'll keep it simple and synchronize all the users. Next are the optional features. So if you remember, we already selected the password hash synchronization, which is by default selected here and is grayed out because that cannot be changed at this point. But you also get an option for password write back. What it means is, although the password is stored is a hash of the hash, but you have the option to enable the password write back and the users will be able to change their password from here, which will be synchronized back to the Active Directory on premises. So I will leave it as is. I don't want the password to be written back and I'll click on next. We are now on the screen where it says ready to configure and also gives us an option to start the synchronization as soon as the configuration is complete. And there is additional option that says enable the staging mode. So what does it mean is it will not directly synchronize the users with Active Directory. Rather, it will take to the staging and then you have the option to finally synchronize them. So we will not choose it and click on install. It will take some time for the configuration to be completed. So I'll pause the video and return back when the configuration is complete. The Azure Active Directory configuration is now complete. And what we can do is we can reopen the Azure AD Connect and we will have the option under tasks that we can perform. So we have different options there. If you want to customize a setting in terms of staging or in terms of the synchronization or any other, we can simply come here and change those settings based on the requirements. So I have the customized synchronization options and I have configured device options and so on and so forth. So if I choose any of the options, it will first ask me to provide the global administrator username and password. Once I do that, it will be validated and after validation, I will be able to perform those actions. So if we talk about the staging, it is asking me for the global administrator credentials. I will provide that. I'll click on next. And once validated, I will see a screen where I can enable the staging mode here. So for now, I'll keep it plain and simple. I'll not do that, but definitely as a learner, you should go there, install and configure different options and see how they are working and what they are intended for. So I'll close this and I'll show you one more thing. That is the synchronization service. So if I search for synchronization, we can open the synchronization service where I can see that once the configuration of the Azure AD Connect was completed, there was a full synchronization that happened to Kurari.com and it was a full export and it was a success. It will also show you the time and date of the synchronization. Now that this is done, we should definitely go to the Azure portal and see whether the users were properly synchronized. So here we are on our Azure portal. And if we go to users, we see that Ritu Kumar, Raghav Kumar and Neeraj, all the IDs have been synchronized. One additional account you will see is the on-premises directory synchronization account. And this is the account that Azure AD Connect created as a part of the Active Directory synchronization, which will be used for this purpose. Additionally, what you should note is that all these accounts are Windows Server Active Directory accounts. As a next step, what we should do is we should go to individual accounts and check whether these accounts have any permissions or not. So we can go to Raghav Kumar and there 
if we check at the assigned roles, there will be no roles assigned as such because they are recently synchronized and we can assign them roles in the Azure Active Directory. Similarly, if I go to the users again and click on Ritu Kumar and check the assigned roles there also, you will see that there are no roles assigned. So that concludes our demo for Azure AD Connect installation and configuration and thereafter synchronizing the accounts from on-premises to Azure AD.